Welcome brothers, I'm JK Amazie, head coach and founder of the Porn Reboot System. Now if you enjoy watching these videos, if you find them helpful, please support the channel by liking this video, subscribing and clicking on the little bell icon on the top so that you receive notifications each time I release a video and I release videos four times a week, every single week. Now back to the topic of today, changing your recovery dream. In the YouTube app, go to notifications and turn on subscriptions. In the settings, go to notifications and scroll to the YouTube app and allow notifications. Now I've spoken about true rebooters and trial rebooters. A trial rebooter is an individual who really does want to end his out of control behavior with pornography, sex or masturbation. But the only problem is that he believes deep within him that one day he's still going to be able to engage in his out of control behavior in moderation. And there's nothing wrong with that belief except for the fact that it's going to sabotage your reboot. Because if you're only 99% committed, it's only a matter of time before you slip or relapse. On the other hand, we have the true rebooter. This is an individual who equally wants to end his behavior. But one core difference is that he has made peace with his behavior with pornography. He's accepted that pornography has brought some positive things in his life. For instance, maybe thought him about sex, maybe not the most healthy sex, but it might have helped him get over some apprehension of fears that he had about sex and shown him some things that he didn't understand. But he also acknowledges that he's indulged in it to the point that the negative aspects, the negative things that it has brought into his life far outweigh the positives. So he's ready to end this forever. He understands that there is no benefit and holding on to a belief that maybe one day he can go back to pornography. So his reboot is not sabotaged. He has a better chance of ending this behavior. That's a true rebooter and then there's the trial rebooter. There is another key difference between both of these type of men and that's what I'm going to be talking about today and it has to do with the dreams and the ideals that you have when it comes to changing your life. See, a trial rebooter wants to pursue their dreams and their goals, whereas a true rebooter understands that dreams are absolutely unreliable until they can actually be transformed into some sort of project where he can actually handle it, where he can create actionable steps that can be followed. He knows it's not just about wanting. See, the thing about having a project and making your dream or your goal a project that you can work on is that it takes you from a place of, man, I would really like to change my behavior. I would like to be able to have control over my urges. I'd like to be more focused. I want to be more self-disciplined. Oh, I wish I wasn't so afraid of women. I wish I understood how to do this. It takes you from all those things, those statements to, I am accountable. I am responsible for myself. And what's the difference? The difference is that an accountable man has no one to blame for not accomplishing something but himself. When you are accountable, there's nothing else you can blame except yourself. But when you say, man, I want to do this, I wish I can do this, guess what? Within that, there's always something holding you back. Oh, I don't have the money to do it. It's not that time yet. I need to complete this other thing in my life. My parents are holding me back. My wife wouldn't allow me to do it. I'm so focused at work, I don't really have time to like do that thing but I want and I wish and I hope. You know, in Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland, if you've read the book or maybe you've watched the Disney classic, there's a part where Alice is asked by the Cheshire Cat where she's going and she says she doesn't know. And the Cheshire Cat says, and I'm paraphrasing, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. And that's very important because if you've not taken the things you want and you wish for and you hope for and turn them into a project, that actually can be worked on and lead you to a specific destination, then what's going to happen is that life is going to happen by default to you. Basically, your future is going to become a default. What does this mean? You know, sometimes I speak to men who are in their 20s and in their 30s, and I warn them, I'm very direct about this, there's no BS. I tell them, listen, I've spoken to the future you. 
I've spoken to a man who's in his 50s, 60s, 70s, and sometimes older, rarely, but sometimes older, and he sounds exactly like you do. He grew up in a completely different time, but his shame was holding him back from seeking help. He kept wishing that he could do certain things, and look at you right now. You're in your late 20s, or in your early to mid 30s, you're in your early 40s, and you're still wishing and hoping. You had a decade, you had five years, you had seven years, you had all this time to turn this thing into a project, but something kept coming up. You kept wanting it. Like, man, I really want to do this. You even got on calls with people, with therapists, with coaches, with people that could help you, but you weren't ready to turn that thing into a project. You sure were ready to talk about it, man. What do I want? Man, I want to be, I want to be in a happy relationship. I want to have control of my behavior. I want to have sex knowing that I'm not going to be dealing with any PIED. You know, I, I want to make more money. I want to be focused on my career. I want to run my own business. I want to have a six pack. I want to be jacked. I want to be charismatic. You, there are all these things that you wanted, right? But you never turned them into a project. These men never did that. And now I see them. They're unhappy. They're single. One of the worst things about men who are in this situation in the future, the future you, is that they are devoid of hope. The only thing they're trying to do is grasp onto the belief that they can change themselves. Because guess what? As you get older and you start losing a lot of these connections, the truth is that society doesn't give as much of a shit about you. Now, yeah, you still have friends, you have your family, you have your dad and mom who's still like, hey, what are you going to do with your life? Aren't you going to do this? You have people who actually give a shit. As you get older, people start assuming that you should have figured your shit out. And you start believing that you should have too. So it becomes so much more challenging to actually reach out for help. The older you are, the tougher it is to lower your ego and reach out for help. And thus you live in this default future. I hate to make it sound as if your future can be determined. You don't know what's going to happen. But there are certain decisions you can make and not make. And I, personally, just based on my experience working with hundreds of men, I can predict, based on the men I've worked with, how your life is likely to end up. There are certain men who are never going to be in a relationship unless a woman just approaches them or unless they're set up by their parents or their friends. And they make themselves believe that, oh yeah, I should, I should be in a relationship. Right? There are certain men who will never be in a relationship. They will be single for most of their life. Eventually, they'll get to a point that the only way they can have sex is by paying for it. There are certain men who will live with their out of control behavior for years and be dependent on their parents or stuck in an unhealthy relationship with their parents way into their 40s, 50s, and 60s. I see it happening all the time. I see the seeds being planted. So here's an action step before we go down a very, what could end up being a very depressive road. An action step is to ask yourself this question. And please put pen to paper because it really helps. What will happen in my life if nothing changes? All right, again, it just, it really helps. I just want to go back to that point because there are these neural connections that I actually made when you put pen to paper. It feels more real. You've taken out something in your head that could be competing with other ideas and objections, and it's right there on the paper. You can't run away from it, all right? What will happen if nothing changes? And actually write out realistically, without any, well, with fear, <laughs> what would happen if nothing changed? And then, once you've written it all out, on another piece of paper, if there's still some space on there, I want you to ask yourself this question. Will my life serve as a warning to others, or, as an inspiring example of what is possible for a human being to accomplish. This is a question that I asked myself, albeit back then I didn't ask myself, is my life going to be an inspiring example of what a human being can accomplish? Because to be honest with you, I was very selfish back then. I was really rebooting just for myself. But my life became infinitely better when I started thinking about what I could do for other people how I could live as an example and I wasn't so self-centered. But if you can't imagine being inspiring or inspirational to other people, that's fine. You can ask yourself, well, how do you want to feel years from now? But again, there are two parts to that. The first part, which is the more important part, is is your life going to be a warning to others? Because I started seeing, when I was much younger, I started seeing men 
who were making the same decisions I was making, or rather, not making the decisions I should have been making. And I saw how their lives were ending up, and I did not want to end up like them. Brother, do not be one of those guys. It is so important to change your reboot, your recovery dreams, into projects that you can do something about. One of the ways you can do that is by reaching out for help. You can reach out, speak to one of our reboot strategists. Even if you might not be a good fit for our program, at the very least, you could come away with some sort of a basic plan for how to begin this. They might give you a resource. They might suggest a, another professional that you might speak to. And if you're a good fit for our program, then wonderful. You can start off working with us and putting together a reboot plan. Well, brothers, it's so important to do that little exercise I mentioned. And I'd love it if you could share it, if possible, in the comment section below. I'll speak to you later on in the week. Whenever you're ready, here are four ways that Pawn Reboot can help you out for free. The first way is to subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on the notification bell to get a new video every other day. The second way is to get a copy of the free book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. You'll learn about my personal struggle and the lessons I've learned over a decade, as well as strategies for putting together your porn reboot plan and ending your compulsive behavior with pornography or masturbation. So click on the link in the description below this video. The third way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals, entrepreneurs, business owners, guys who work in sales, consulting, or high-level jobs, men who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's also a link to join in the description below this video. And finally, if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, you want to be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt, and underachieving, click on the link in the description below this video that says free coaching call or visit elevatedrecovery.org and click on the link which says book a call.